it's not rolling the whole time. It was. <laughs> I just now I'm playing it. Oh my Lanta. I pressed the button! Well, that's why it messed up, because you pressed the button. So where are we going right now? We, we're going to, <laughs> going to another RV park uh, south of Tampa. Um, mm -hmm. We're going about to go over 275, which goes over the bridge south of St. Petersburg and kind of loops back over towards Bradenton and Palmetto. But this place is right off of 275. Um, basically what we're trying to do is get away from where we are right now because of the fact that it's not pretty it's not pretty <laughs> <laughs> to say Black the words. least not pretty is a understatement this so, is not where we want to be yeah right now so this place is just a little bit nicer of an rv park um it's not on a main drag so there's not a ton of traffic it's one of the big problems we're running into right now is it's just impossible to go anywhere so what we're doing is we are going down here uh, to talk to this lady that is the manager of this place because our RV is too old to go in there. But our RV is in good shape. They have a 10-year rule at most of these parks. But a lot, a, lot, a lot of people don't know is that if you have a nice RV that you maintained well, it's be the reason they have these 10-year rules is so that they don't put junky RVs in there. They don't care really how old your RV is as long as how you take care of it. So if you take care of it, keep it washed, keep, you know, keep it waxed. Don't let the stickers deteriorate off the side. If they do, peel them off and put new stickers on it. The sticker kit is like 500 bucks. I know it seems like a lot of money, but you're investing in the fact that you can still use your RV at different places. Um, one more thing though, while I'm talking about age of RVs, KOAs don't care how old your RV is. So if you want a place to stay, usually they have okay, restrictions. Really it's like six months you can stay there, but you can go and stay at any KOA. You just have to leave the county to go stay in a different KOA. So just a little tip for you right there. Um, but anyways, we're going across this bridge, so. Are we about to go over it right now? No. Okay. Well, we'll, come, we'll come back in a minute and. Uh, what was that? That was that stupid freaking car. Infinity owners, man. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it sounded like a gunshot or something. <laughs> Nah, it's Infinity Owner popped it up on the two-step. Um, Alright, well... We'll be back in a minute. We'll show yeah, you the bridge. Peace. So this is Tampa Bay. So we're we're south of St. Petersburg right now. We're kind of going diagonal across the bottom of Tampa Bay into Bradenton, Florida. Nice view of the truck there. <laughs> so we're going we're going underneath or going over the big. Uh, this is I think this bridge is like ten miles long or something like that. But this is a big old shipping channel right here. So this is big tall bridge so that like the uh, uh, cruise ships and all the other stuff can get underneath here to get into the port of Tampa over there. It's pretty cool. That's this guy. stirred up today and it's still freaking blue. Beautiful. I know the fence probably. I know. Pictures just don't do it justice for videos. Yeah. It's also it a so nasty, pretty. nasty day today. It's been raining all day today, which is weird for St. Petersburg because it never rains here.
here. We'll have to go check out. It's really long. Yeah, it is. So it's uh, from what I kind of gathered whenever I looked it up after we were out here last time. It's a uh, it's a fishing pier that they made. So down there, you like it, I think you have to pay like a toll to get out there for the maintenance of the bridge. But then there's two lanes. One where you can pull off, and then the other is the in and out. But it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I want to see somebody dive off of it. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably take me 2.5 seconds to jump off of that thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come after you. I'm sure. Fish me out of the water. Alright, peace, guys. Alright. Made We're, it to our, we new, made it. our new possible place here. This place is way cool. Come here, open the window. Look at that. Freaking. That just bunch of Aiden back in the <laughs> woods. Aiden. Oh, here's all the water and stuff over here. Little tent. Little tent boy there. It's too hot of a tent camp right here. It's summertime in Florida. <laughs> I bet you can fish here. I don't know what you're gonna get, but it'd be fun. This is nice. Sitting areas. Look at the trees over here. Can you see the camera? Look at the moss. That's yeah. so cool. This is, look at that. Yeah. So cool. It's like some freaking stuff you see in the movies. Jungle. Like a jungle. Ooh. Like a jungle or something. <laughs> Freaking Tarzan's gonna pop out of the woods. Oh look, the there's like it's like a uh, animal farm. Back there. Oh cool. Like a little petting zoo probably. Hey boy, they got the goats back there. Oh goaty. Goats. The water, I wonder where this leads though, like how far you could take a kayak and down. There's probably a lot of water moccasins and oh. alligators. This is cool. I think there's alligators. The old salt gathering place. Frog Creek Campground. This is way cool, man. This is pretty. I'm digging it. So, we made it back from our adventure today. Um, not very eventful, sorry about that. Uh, we drove across the bridge and realized that, you know, there's tolls and stuff after talking about it. We don't really want to go back and forth across the tolls, but um, I believe that place was called Frog Pond um, RV Resort. It's really not very expensive in the summer months. I think it's like 700 bucks a month. Uh, to stay there it's an all-ages park and um, they are really nice she will consider different RVs you have to show her pictures and stuff so if you're looking for a place in South Tampa to go and stay that is a good place uh, the rates go up in the summertime but uh, say hey honey just give me a hi <laughs> uh, good place to stay out there we stay in vacation village I did have somebody ask me that where we actually stay at out here um, Vacation Village, really nice people. Uh, 685 a month for um, a standard, and I think an Elite is like 735 Plenty of room for two cars. Um, they don't really have any RV restrictions. They just don't want like falling apart stuff here. Um, they are very nice, very accommodating. Um, I don't think the rates, do the rates go up in the wintertime? I can't remember, honey. I don't think the rates change really. Um, if they do, it's nothing like some of the bigger parks, but, uh, the only thing that stinks about this place is it's hard to turn around here because it's on a main drag. So, um, it looks like we're going to be staying here. We're going to go on another adventure in the next few days and see if we can find another place. Um, 
One of the things that we did today is we repainted the roof. I am going to finish up that video. So in the next video, I will be showing you how to redo your roof. Super simple. It's a pain in the butt. It's hot. It's sticky. You get paint everywhere, but you know, whatever. So anyways, that's it for now. Please like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, hate asking for it, but it really helps your boy out. So we'll see you later. Honey, we signing off. Hey.